This device is made to automate uh, the sorting and pipetting of miniature entities. For instance, zebrafish embryos or xenopus uh, embryos that are used in research. Originally, uh, we designed this device in order to uh, simplify the work of, of technicians or, or PhD students that, were, that need to sort a lot of entities several hours per day. And then what we realize is like this machine can have application and uh, can be very helpful for like uh, different industry domains. To give an example, there's a need to sort the seeds of different uh, crops or different flowers and then this is done manually nowadays so then having a device to automate this uh, sorting it will like save a lot of time and will standardize the quality of the sorting. The principle is to really individualize the, the entities first and so we, do, we are doing that with this wheel that is placed uh, at the input of the device. And so the wheel allows to uh, grab the entities one by one, thanks to some microfluidic uh, channels. And then once the, in the entities are in these small slots, they will be then positioned in front of a camera to take a picture of the entity. And then based on the database that is uh, built uh, of these entities, the users can itself train the device so that the device can then determine if the entity is uh, good quality or bad quality. In, in function of the classification, the entity will be output in, into different compartments, for instance, falcon tubes, or also pipetted into uh, some 96 well plates. Then we're working on the development of a version of our machine that has a bigger capacity and that is able to manage the high throughput that they need, uh, for example, in the aquaculture. In this sense, having a device like ours that will automate these processes will be very helpful, will save time and will standardize the quality of the sorting.